Okay, we're back with another Pixel tutorial. This time, we're going to learn how to use Text Distortion Toolkit. After downloading and unzipping the zip file, make sure to read the quick guide that is provided inside the pack folder. The Premiere and After Effects files are organized in their respective folders. Inside the After Effects folder, you can see two other folders, Color and Mono. As you can see, each After Effects file is coupled with a video preview. The mono folder has all the monotone files and the color folder has all the colored ones. Also inside the Premiere folder, you can find all the modules of the same templates created for Premiere Pro. Now, working in After Effects, you can double click inside the project panel and import the whole folder containing the templates. As you can see, the preview files that come with the files can really be helpful here, helping you find what you're looking for much faster. When you have chosen your preferred template, simply open the designated folder and then drag and drop the template file onto your timeline. After clicking on the comp file and clicking on the setting and then pressing the F3 button, the settings of the item will be accessible. Here you can change the colors into the ones that suit your own project. Of course, if you change the colors and then decide that the default colors were fine, you can easily just click on the reset button and revert back to the default colors. To change the default title text of the comp, you can go to the text section and change the title to whatever you like. You can also change the font in the character panel. Let's now check the preview. Now let's check another template. I'm going to work on Title 6 this time. Remember that if the previews are not smooth here, change the quality to half or quarter. Title 6, as you can see, works almost exactly the same way as the previous template we checked. But this time, we also have an extra option to work with. By changing the value of melt line, you can change the melting effects on the text. This time, I'm gonna use one of the comps on footage. All of the titles in this pack have a transparent background, so they can be added to any footage by a simple drag and drop. After some minor adjustments, the title will fit the framing of the footage. Again, you can easily change the colors and text by working inside the settings of the comp. All of these settings and options are also available for the comps that are in the Mono folder. 
The only difference is the number of the color options. In the case of this comp that I'm working on, you can see the option called Shadow, which by switching on or off, will change the motion blur and shadow of the text. You can see that working with these comps are very easy, but it can be even easier if you use the Motion Factory extension. Simply go to Window, Extensions, Motion Factory to bring up the extension. Inside the Motion Factory panel, you can click on the Import button to import the whole pack in into the extension. Here you can see that by hovering your mouse over the templates, you can preview them. To add any template to your project, you can either double click on them or right click on the template and then choose Add to Project. You can see that you still have all the options as before but now inside the Motion Factory panel, which is more convenient. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like the pack we use in this video, you can easily get it from the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and as always, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos and tutorials.